Yo, what is good, everyone? We're back with another little thrifting vlog today. Keeping it local, we're gonna hit some of my favorite spots in the city. I'm talking village discount, uh, village discount, and village discount. Bruh. <laughs> Now for real though, we're gonna hit some new spots today. So definitely watch the whole video. I found some pretty cool stuff today. And a lot of you guys that are watching the videos are not subscribed. Aww. So if you're not, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Today's gonna be a banger video. So sit back, relax, and let's get right into the video. Currently just pulled up to a village discount outlet. We're gonna check it out. I got an event this weekend. Need to stock up on some inventory. Let's get it. Yeah, we here. It's been a minute. I know all the jackets are like 50% off today, so I'm hype. They got a Derrick Rose jersey up here. Man, I wish he never tore his ACL, bro. Both times, it was so sad. I miss him. Guys, I just found one of my grails. Check this out. Think, think you the shit, shit bitch. bitch? You not even the fuck. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, this is crazy though. I might unironically cop. Now, you know I usually don't check out the pants, but I was walking past and I saw these three camos and I was like, oh, for sure, grabbing those. But why are they tweaking on those prices, dude? 15 bucks is crazy. All right, so here's everything I found. Not the greatest day. Got a couple mids in here, but a few decent finds as well. Obviously starting off with the munch tea. You guys already saw it, it's funny as shit. I might just have to cop. Then we got, I'd rather go to hell than to, than to work. Back hit, I don't know, it's edgy. I feel like some high schooler would want that. Little Bacardi tea, not bad. It's gonna be half off too, so it's decent. Decent find here, Buccaneers, wrap around tea. I like that, it's fire. Another decent find, ASU crew with the embroidery. It's on like a waffle-y knit cotton material. It's tough. I mean, this shit's ass. I don't even know why I grabbed this. Yorkville. I don't even, nah, this, this is staying here for sure. But this one is not. The Polaris fleece goes crazy, dude. This is definitely my favorite find today. I mean, that that's just wild. It looks itchy though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> then I got a couple of sweaters here. Decent colorways, good styles. Croft and Barrow, always a good brand to grab for sweaters. Even though they're new school, still good quality. Then we got a nice little vintage -y jacket here. You know, got that ribbing that I always talk about that I like. Decent jacket. This might be my favorite personal find though. I might have to keep this. I don't, I don't know, something about this pattern is getting me going. Pause. Lord. Resume. And that's how we do it like this? I, I'm feeling some type of way. We got snow fleece. I don't know, man. This is just, I like it a lot. And then I made a joke about this on my Instagram and TikTok. If you didn't see it, you gotta go see it. The link's in my bio. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but my total only ended up being like $23 for all the stuff I got. I mean, got a full Ikea bag, damn near 15 pieces. Um, I mean, that was crazy. I had a $5 coupon and it was 50 to 70% off on winter items. So maybe that helped, but like that, that was crazy. That is a great deal. Hell yeah. Yo, what's up guys? We are going to a new thrift today. I actually don't think I've ever been here. I always drive past this place and I'm like, I don't know how to get into the parking lot, but I finally figured it out. So we're gonna check it out. It is a Salvation Army. Those are pretty hit or miss. So I'm a little excited though, cause it is in a good area of Chicago. It's very central located. Um, I think it's near Costco, could be wrong. I don't really remember, but we're about to drive over there. Hopefully they got some good stuff for us today. For some reason, I feel like I'm gonna find some cool home goods stuff today. Stuff for the apartment, stuff for my future store, possibly. But, uh, I don't know. That's just the vibe I'm on. Usually when I say this shit, I'm completely wrong. So, let's go see. Yeah, this place looks like it's about to smack. Bro, I don't know how I knew, but the home goods section is going crazy. These chairs are sick. They want 600 and then I really want this. Little, like, safe thing, dude. Like, this is crazy cool. $200, though. That hurts, that hurts a lot. Like I can just picture this in my crib, bro. That shit is so dope. Damn, bro. Then I found this couch and chair set, bro. This is actually so dope. I can just picture this in my apartment or, or like a studio apartment, man. This thing is crazy. I don't love getting used couches, but like 
400 hertz also but i mean that this shit is like so dope this and the safe together is a little side table are you kidding me you're, you're the coolest guy ever i don't know man These, this is cool stuff i really like this store as far as home goods go prices are kind of expensive so far but uh we'll see as far as the clothes go right now i'm really not finding shit um everything's pretty expensive here every hoodie is like 13 plus and i don't know just not feeling it too much in the clothes but maybe i'll find something also the shoes are really good here though but they're all like 30 plus as well and none of the good ones are like in my size like take a look at these i mean these are heat they're kind of mid but like these are size 13 so they got a good selection of shoes but just like for the bigger guys they don't fit my 11, man. I need the 11s. So I just was filming over there for TikTok and someone brought out a new rack and I finally found the first piece of vintage here. I mean, this place is so granola, bro. It's like corporate America, whitewashed. It's crazy. This is like, there's, there's not a single lick of vintage here besides this one piece I just found. Nice little Packers crew, man. Nice, dude. On the Legend Athletic tag. Nine bucks is kind of steep, but I mean, this is the best price I've seen all day. <laughs> I'm surprised this wasn't like 20-ish bucks or more. I'm gonna grab it though. All right, so since that first one was kind of mid, good home, good selection, I kind of called it, but super overpriced, not really much vintage there. Um, so we're gonna hit another village discount, maybe another one after as well. I got some time today. So yeah, hopefully we find some good stuff so I can have some good inventory for my event this weekend. Got the nice little mural over there, Robin Williams, fire, and then we got the even more beautiful sign up here. Village discount on it. Always, always has the heat, man. Got the Betty Boops. Harleys. Jerseys. It's a Cubs jacket over there. And we got some bowls, seats on the wall. It's heat, man. We always got it here. All right, we're gonna head upstairs to the men's section. With the train coming by right now, you literally can hear it so close. Yeah, so I somehow managed to not find shit here. It's very hit or miss, to be honest. Except I did find three things. A little overpriced. They got a good stocker employee for sure, because they get these prices pretty, pretty close. But first one's the Syracuse jacket, starter jacket. I mean, just look at that, that hardware. Shit making me hard, damn. Nah, nice little back hit too. Um, I'm only gonna cop if this is half off because 25 is steep. Then we got that UPS employee worker fit. I mean, the color blocking on this is actually pretty dope. I'm actually gonna grab this, this is cool. And then the last piece is this nylon windbreaker, probably from the 90s or some shit. It's vintage, it's cool. I'm gonna grab if it's half off. And yeah, I mean, three nice little pieces right here. Let's keep going. Yeah, so everything was half off. So I got all three for only $13, which is crazy. I don't know, man. That 50% discount feels like it's way more. I don't know if I'm doing my math wrong or something, but like, I feel like that should have been more than 13. Let me do the math in the car real quick. Just checked everything and the total is like 50-ish dollars. So like, I don't know how the tap off. You know what? I'm not gonna complain. $13 is sick for that. I'll take it. I also just noticed there's like this little comic book store with like Pokemon shit and Funko Pops. I'm gonna go check it out, man. I haven't been in a store like this in forever. And you know I love Pokemon, so I'm going in. I definitely did not need this at all. It was like $15, 16 after tax. Um, but this is like kind of like gambling a little bit. Uh, they're called blind boxes and you basically have like a one in six chance in getting the one you want. I want the Pikachu with Ash's hat. I mean, that's sick, but I'd be cool with any of these. And y'all know I like my little fucking toys and shit. So like, it's cool. It'll go in my room regardless of what it is. So we're gonna open this up in a second. I'm gonna do it on TikTok. So if you wanna see like the actual unboxing, it's gonna be on there. But I'll show you guys what I end up getting. All right, guys, so I ended up pulling the Pikachu, the one I wanted. I'm hoping that this was actually a blind box or maybe it's just the one you get. I know the other ones in there are blind boxes. 
this one might not be i don't know so that's why i picked this one just in case uh because they had like different designs with all the guys on there but yeah hell yeah dude look at this thing i'm lit this is sick it's got a little bean bag too man that's fire honestly worth the 15 bucks i don't even care yeah so that was awesome i'm gonna go get some food and then probably go to one more thrift let's go do it I also forgot to mention that Village Discount actually started making like a social media page. So they have like an Instagram now and they've actually reposted my last couple reels that I've done of me doing like a come through for me. And then they DM'd me and now we're talking and they sent me some extra points um, to my account because now they have a rewards program. So they sent me a bunch of points. I get to use those. It's kind of sick. I'm not even gonna lie. When your go-to thrift starts noticing you and hypes you up, you know, that's, that's, that's just dope. It's cool. Now I can get better deals. Let's go. All right, we're at the spot. Last time I was here, I had so much stuff that I couldn't even put anything anywhere. So like, hopefully today is the same way. Let's go. They got a pretty good grill wall because there's this spot here and there's all of this as well. Okay, yeah, we, we cooked. We cooked for sure. Got some good stuff. All right, so here's everything we got. Decent finds today. Um, some I'm a little questionable on because I'm not sure if they're gonna be 50% off, 50 to 70% off with that jacket discount. I think the big ticket items like this one are not, but I'm gonna double check. Um, and I got a few of those, so. But we got tea like this. Cade McNown from 1999, fire. It's a little more expensive on the Joy Athletic tag. What, 1450? I'm debating getting this. I might get it. I don't know yet. Um, nice little Bears crew neck. Not bad. Can't tell if that's 750 or 950, but that makes a difference. I'm not gonna lie. If this is 10 bucks, I don't want it. If it's eight bucks, I want it. Um, just getting this one. It's a nice little graphic. Cheap price. Why not? Nice little Tommy sweater as well. Cool little sweater here too. This one's nice. I think this one might be half off because it's on a smaller white tag. So I'll grab that. Pretty cool studded Blackhawks piece, front and the back. Packers crew. Don't know if I'm gonna end up getting this one yet. Definitely grabbing this Cubs crew. I might keep it, honestly. It's a good piece. Then we got the Nautica fleece hoodie. This one, three bucks, man. Good find. And then the rest, we got the rest, these are ones I'm a little curious on. I'm not too sure, but we got a Wilson jacket, 17. Got the goofy jacket with the inner graphic, dude. Like what? It's not reversible, which is so shitty, but $21, a little stained up and a big G back hit. And then we got a Blackhawks jacket as well. Not too bad, decent little front and big spell out on the back. Decent little finds, can't complain. So sadly, the big ticket items were not discounted for jackets. That sucks. I wanted those three, but not a big deal. I got recognized in the thrift today again. Um, they said they saw my YouTube, so if it was YouTube boys, appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. We took a little picture together, and I'm hoping someday I'll come across the picture. <laughs> nah, but I hope they tag me or something. I don't know. It's really cool, though. I, I love that shit, man. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Um, it's been a good day thrifting. That's all I got to say. <laughs> kind of spooky. That bag tag is fucking crazy. Ridiculous. What's the age on this? Are you kidding me? Your McDonald's got them lifting prices. Damn. These bastards got me again, man. I need that toy. And that I got recognized in the thrift. Might have to go in the personal. You know what I say? Things are crazy.